I will say, Christian Guzman has been on a tear lately. Yeah, he has. I've loved watching him develop. I've seen him since Blue Belt, and it just gets better and better yeah. every time. He's so good. I will say that I think his last couple of matches have been finishes by guillotine. Christian Guzman. He just opened up his own business, actually, Space City Collective, so definitely go out and check it out. This is a title match. We've been over the rules. It's going to be 10 minutes, if only submission. If there's no submission, you get the 10 minutes, we're going to go to a four minute overtime. We're going to score points, penalties. Oh, nice. Okay. As well as submission. Well, I was saying maybe questions. on a submission hunter. I've seen him do. All right, guys, shake hands, get back. Maybe two finishes with the guillotine. Yeah. Quick guard pull. Christian forces a half guard position. Christian is just slowly climbing, that closing that distance little by little. Trying to get past that knee shield. Carlos is doing a good job of kind of dominating that outside hand, which is going to keep uh, Christian from grabbing his head. Carlos looks like he's trying to set up a Kimura. Christian doing a good job, keeping that pressure. Christian, looks like he's trying to catch uh, his foot for maybe a possible steam a lot. Carlos's uh, approach to this position is he's like, he's not giving Christian much, you know. So uh, he's doing a good job of just defending and staying, staying safe by just not letting Christian get past his knee shield, not getting letting Christian get through his hips, 
Um, he's kind of dominating that hand with a two on one, which is, seems to be very effective, making a huge difference on Christian's pass attempts. So I think if he tries to pass too much to the outside, he might leave himself vulnerable for a Kimura trap. Christian's gonna look for footlock himself. Ooh, kind of exchange. Carlos is trying to go for an inside heel hook here. Carlos turning over. Doesn't quite have the knee line. He's trying to, he's trying to finish the heel hook without controlling the knee line. He needs to hug that knee tight. He needs to pull everything in real, real, real tight and then just kind of weather the storm of Christian's escapes and then look for that attack. Carlos is very explosive in his movements, too. A little step through attempt. You've got to be careful there because Carlos is looking for a leg lock. So this is actually a bit different approach to a title match. Quite often with title matches, you see people kind of just relax, not expend energy. That is not what we're seeing here at all. Yeah. It's one of my favorite kinds of title matches for sure. Just making it like impossible to grab his legs. Yeah, and it's going to be very frustrating, and honestly, it's kind of frustrating to watch, but it's effective, yeah, and it's it is. it's good. Absolutely. It's a good that he, it's good that he's doing that. You know, it's going to make uh, it's just going to make it really difficult for Christian to try to pass. So, yeah, it may not seem like the best way to deal with it, or maybe get to a, a another attacking position, but Christian's not passing that his guard. It makes it very difficult for your opponent, though. Yeah. I think it's a good technique, honestly. Yeah. And Christian's not passing his guard, and, and it kind of forced Christian to attempt the footlock, and just because he went for that footlock attempt. He almost caught got himself in a, in a heel hook, you know, so this is something that he's kind of got to be aware of. Definitely opens up your game. I think what would help a little bit if is Christian just kind of picked up from the half guard, tried to walk uh, Carlos in more of a lateral motion towards Christian's right side. Definitely. Keep and I like flat. when he's uh, doing there a little bit with his head, kind of trying to control Carlos's head as well. Yeah. I think you control the head, you control the spine, you control the movement. He's really trying to stuff the feet over his head. Less than two minutes on the clock. You'll probably see Christian get a little more active on the passing, more aggressive with the passing. He actually did a pretty good job of kind of like collecting Carlos and knees together there. I'll see that again. But again, like Carlos is just doing a really good job of not letting Christian control his legs.
One minute remaining in this match. One minute remaining. Christian's, Christian's hunting for dollars. He's not going to be able to get it without his hand getting 30 uh, seconds without remaining. His connection of Carlos's grip. I would say that two on one has been very frustrating for Christian. It's kind of what has been uh, protecting that pass, keeping uh, Christian from flattening him out, getting to the cross face. 10 seconds. Time. All right, we're well now going to overtime. Right. We're going to overtime. Four minutes, IBJJF rules apply. Points and advantages will be scored. Now, it'll be uh, interesting to see the uh, different approach from Carlos in this match because Carlos didn't really have too much action in the ten, first 10 minutes. It was more offensive than anything. And um, he didn't have some leg lock attacks. Oh, you got H-Town. Are you Christian rolling with the position. challenger, Carlos so, Enriquez? In his points, Chris is not going to give up position. He's not going to go for that. Uh, so maybe or we'll are you see. riding like with Christian Guzman? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll see a quick takedown, honestly. Like, am I probably see a quick guard pull. I think, yeah, I you think know? we'll see a guard pull. And then it will probably see a repeat, a little bit of repeat, and then uh, maybe Christian can catch uh, that esteem lock again, or maybe uh, Carlos could get underneath Christian this time for leg locks like he's been trying to. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Both athletes are getting really intense coaching from their corners. Uh, Pablo Silva, we got Lucas Valente in Christian's corner. We got Pablo Silva in, Car in Carlos's corner. And uh, Andres Asentra in, in uh, Christian's corner as well, who, who is, will be competing on our all-women's card. Oh, no, sorry. I'll take that back. <laughs> Double guard pull. You called it. So it's only four minutes. So whoever comes up here, uh, I'm not sure if I'm right, but there would be an advantage awarded but whoever comes up is going to be more vulnerable for a sweep. I know rules have changed, and I'm not sure if Mr. Uh, has updated the rules on kind of type to reflect IBJJF, but. We're seeing kind of reversal of positions here now. We're going to see some of uh, Christian's guard. Yeah, yeah, it should be an advantage awarded for Carlos. There's a, there's there's a extra foot lock. Gets the tap. Excellent. Very nice. Very good. Excellent job. Another awesome win by Christian. Man, that's got to be a and tight a really foot lock. Like, sure. yeah, like he tapped pretty quick on that. 
He's got these. I think he's got these forearms. You can kind of look at the, how how bladed his forearms yeah. are. When you're going against guys you like can that, feel it. yeah, who had like those bladed forearms, man, they're so painful. A really like great title match. Good matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match with a straight ankle lock, and still your submission hunter pro. Brown belt, 145 pound, no gi champion, Christian Guzman.